Welcome back everyone, welcome back to our everyday living. We're currently doing a wire stripping video for you all. Maybe, maybe the last one, we don't know. See how things progress and get on. Because we've actually cleaned up the shed. I'll flip this around and show you what we've done. So this is what we've got. We've got no IBC pods here. So we've cleaned it all up. Be able to put the mower in a bit further, even though the mower's a bit of a ride off, as you've seen in the last video of me, me going out and doing a scrap run and that sort of thing. Um, but we've got the wire up here all ready to rock and roll. June's helping out today, she's not feeling 100%. But uh, don't pick on her if she's a bit slow and I'm a bit quick. But anyway, that's the way it'll be. Once I'm finished putting all of this through, um, I'll give her a hand and we'll get, get it all pulled apart and we'll, we'll show you what we've got at the end. Uh, because we're planning on doing another scrap run to the scrap yard so we can get rid of the the good stuff here get rid of all of our cast alloy that's done in there we've got some um, extruded alloy here in there domestic alloy over here so yeah we've done a fair few computers or i did um, and we've got the insulated wire over there which is low grade wire so we'll get in and do this here all of our stainless steel, stainless steel there, in that drum there. We've just got to de declutter it and put it down smaller. All of our number two copper, uh, alley radiators in there from out of heat sinks and that sort of thing. Um, I'm thinking on the lines also of taking these batteries over, even though they work. So I've also got this outside. We're going to be taking this over too. It's one of those things that I was going to do in about three or four months' time that I was going to take everything over take and get rid of everything here because there's more things on the way what we will be doing. So don't think this is the end of us. We're planning extra things, extra content for you all. So there will be more, more content coming out. Um, but it won't be anything to do with scrapping or anything like that. We're changing our ways on what we're doing with our content. Um, more because we don't think we're going to be here for the next season. So it's just that sort of way. We've got to change the way we're doing it now, not later. If we leave it too late, we're going to be on the, under the hammer and really under the eight ball. So we're changing it now. Get on top of things. So we'll get in and do this wire stripping. So we'll get this done and, um, yeah, we'll see what we've got out at the end of it.
Well, I finally got it all finished. June got a bit crooked in the end there. Um, we both had a bite to eat and she started to feel a little bit squirmish in the gut and that sort of thing. She hasn't been well all night, so she had, you know, I made her have a couple of pieces of toast and a, you know, sugar, a cup of tea without sugar. And then she thought, oh, geez, I'm feeling real crooked. So I made her lay down. I came down and stripped all the wire out, got all the, all the remaining wire out of the casings. Um, so the casings are now in the trash, in there. There's a lot of it. And this is what we have. So it's not a bad haul in, in a way. I always look at these little strandy pieces too. So I try and get those as well. So anyway, um, I'll have a talk about uh, the old wire stripper machine that we've got here, how I've all set it up. I have done it in the past, but I'm going to do it again anyway. I've put the lights in there so I can actually see what's going on. Because if there's no lights in there, how can I disconnect that? Look, I'll give you an example. If there's no lights, here we go. We'll disconnect the power supply. One handy here. She's dark as all buggery. You can't see shit. So that's why I put the lights in. But anyway, I tell you what, this is a game changer for if anyone wants to in this sort of machine. Now I'll turn the light back on. Might not be able to. I'll leave it alone. Um, it's a, what I mean by a game changer. You don't have to, well I don't myself have to. Once you've got it all set, you don't have to change anything here for any of the sizes. Well I don't anyway. Um, I don't seem to get it cutting into the wire much or at all. Um, if you pick the bit oversized hole, um, it does work the best. Not really all in favour of these flat ones we've got here, um, but as you've seen, they do do the job, but, you know, it, it's fairly quick for what I can push through it. I can't keep up to it sometimes. Um, as you notice, June couldn't keep up, so, but like I said today, she wasn't well. And um, yeah, I, I have trouble trying to keep up. So, but I do try to leave it in long lengths where I could actually leave it in shorter lengths. So maybe in the future, I might be able to cut them off shorter so only they're about a oh, metre long. Does make it easier for the person on the other side. I do know that. Um, it's best if there's two people on the other side of this machine because it goes that goddamn quick. But anyway, I purchased this one off good old eBay. Um, pay, paid a good pre, pretty penny for it and then just put in the 240 lights anyway. Which are the lights I got out of a dumpster. So, yeah, bit of hard wiring and straight into the switch in here with the power supply there. So anyway, if you've come this far and you like the video, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you do, don't forget to hit the notification bell. And for those people with smart TVs that are watching now, I do have a QR code and I'll put it up in the corner up here for you all to scan with your phone if you feel free to do it. Because subscribing is free. And when you get there, don't forget to hit the notification bell when you subscribe. So till the next one everyone, happy dumpster diving, happy scrapping, and we may be doing some travelling in the future. Till then, see you on the next one.